Hey, I'm Bowen. We are here at Jeff and Maisie's Pinball Emporium in Wayland, Massachusetts, and we are playing Jurassic Park Premium Edition with the moving T-Rex and all sorts of other cool features that are not part of the regular Jurassic Park Pro Edition. So we'll talk about some of the differences between a Pro and a Premium. Uh, this being the second Keith Elwin game with... Um, Incredible software, lots of details, all these different multi-balls, the Raptors, the T-Rex, the Chaos, many of those things harkening back to the original Jurassic Park from Data East in the 1990s. So let's fire it up and see how we do. What's the guy's name? All right, let's talk skill shots while they introduce us to the Isla Nublar? Nublar, Nublar. Uh, the main skill shot is on the left ramp and you go left ramp right ramp side ramp as a combo uh, there are other skill shots as well you can short plunge and uh, then shoot a shot oh yeah i am in jurassic park and the t-rex agrees well, let's see if we can get that main skill shots oh there are several other little skill shots involved and those skill shots come from uh, shooting more ramps or the amber target or the right loop or like uh, most of the other Keith Elwin and Rick Nagel games, uh, there are a variety of different opportunities for skill shots. The main play loop of the game is to collect these dinosaurs by uh, shooting white shots and then the T-Rex ramp to uh, start tracking down that dinosaur. We'll talk about that. what that is. So to feed that left ramp, we can also shoot the helipad all the way on the right. And then the left ramp is available to us. You can post transfer too, but if you can make a shot instead of post transferring, it's worth at least a combo, some extra points. Uh, it's usually better to make shots because then you can get used to where those shots are located. So the idea here is to collect staff by shooting the targets marked rescue. And once you make enough rescues, you will light uh, the yellow targets in the back middle of the game. And then hitting the yellow target will make it possible to uh, go for the dinosaur completion. So let's aim for that yellow target. It's there by the... Yeah, no, missed it. Meanwhile, the dinosaur is moving around, and the green shot that's lit will show you where the dinosaur is located. If you, if the dinosaur tracks down to where it says rescue, then some of your staff can be hurt. The idea is to not let any of the staff get hit. Uh, meanwhile, you have to, you still have to hit that yellow target. Well, there's the, the dinosaur getting closer. If you hit the dinosaur shot, you tranquilize the dinosaur briefly, and it will not be allowed to move. Slowed. That's it. When you can't shoot something, just let the ball bounce into it instead. Now the shots become yellow, and making the yellow shot completes the dinosaur. Okay, I will. Um, and you complete that dinosaur and lock it in. You can then go for the next dinosaur by choosing by the truck, whether the truck is going to go to the left or to the right. So you can look at the direction the truck is pointing and that truck will tell you whether you're going to go to the left, in this case to the spitter, or to the right to uh, Ankylosaurus, I think. Um, Going to the right would, would make it easier for me to get to Visitor Center. Going to the left will make it harder, but also more valuable to do so. And to activate another one of those dinosaurs, all I really have to do is shoot enough white shots to get going. And as you can see there, now the spitter is lit on the left ramp. If I don't like that, I can hit the, I can hit the truck and it will change. And that's basically what's happening as you go through the main game, trying to get as close as you want to the visitor center. If I'm focusing on just getting to the visitor center as fast as possible, 
I want to go along the outside either always to the right or always to the left. Going to the middle means some more difficult battles that can be worth more points. It's very impressive how that's built in this game to allow you that choice. Um, I also have a couple of multi-balls that are nearly available to me. Uh, one is the Chaos Multi-Ball, because I've spelled C-H-A-O, and then S is lit. And the other is from the very first completion of the letters in T-Rex. I'm going to hit the truck two more times to do that. So we'll feed either of those multi-balls when we can, but let's play Spitter. The Seven staff. You have to pick up enough staff to activate the traps. So there's a rescue. There's a rescue. And now the trap targets are ready to go. If I hit the trap target, the trap is set. I gotta go to the helipad on the right. So the more difficult, the more difficult rescues require you to to uh, hit this helipad on the right as well, and the helipad can even time out and force you to go back. And the targets. And there is the uh, the spitter on the right ramp right now. Got it. The spitter is captured. And, oh, we completed T-Rex and then promptly drained. So maybe we can get around to feed T-Rex a second time. It's really worth talking about how that mini multi-ball plays uh, because it can be worth a lot and it's certainly fun. Um, so we'll see if we can get there. But I've finished off the uh, two dinosaurs at this point. Uh, and every time you finish a dinosaur, you get a bonus. You can see it on the left-hand side where it says Jurassic Perks. <laughs> uh, I have 2x bonus for the rest of the game because I've completed one of the harder dinosaurs. They are the only bonus multipliers in the game. I also have a two, plus 2x Super Spinner. So when I do get to Super Spinner through the right inlane, uh, it is worth more than it would otherwise be. And the, the plus 200k to your streaks, that's talking about the streaks of rescuing people without them getting captured or dying and um, I think I did have someone get captured by the uh, the spitter so I've lost that um, also through my play in the supply drops I've got the 2x scoring lit on the right side so this is a good time to think about what I can line up uh, and the two things that are line up that, that are available to me are chaos multiball on the target there and also this shot to the control room like most games you want to Bring in a mode into your multi-ball when you can. So I'm going to skip the skill shot and go directly for the control room here. So a short plunge. A short plunge. A short plunge. And then we're going to try for that, but miss. That's always nice. This is nice to watch. It's always nice to watch a flail fest, right? Get that thing. Nope, not close at all. The, the C shot for the control room is surprisingly difficult sometimes. And now you want to think about, okay, what, is, what do I want to do? Um, there are specific modes here that are better than other ones. And the one you want to take first is system boot. This is the most valuable of them. It is a combo, uh, it is a combo event. So you shoot a blue arrow and then shoot a combo shot off of that blue arrow. And that combo can be worth a buttload. Assuming you make anything at all, really. So there's the right ramp, and now I'll make a shot, a combo, boom. Now I don't know how many points that was worth, but uh, what I also know is now a double plate build is running. So let's make the other shots on this combo while double plate build is active. Right ramp? Nope. Let's make the center spinner. Let's make something. Oh boy. Brutal. Boom! System boot combo. 
And what have we got? Okay, we we also started a new dinosaur with Triceratops like the others. The last shot for this mode is up the middle. The 2x scoring is out, unfortunately, because that would have been a real nice thing to have. Oh, it is. He's right. Time is running out. No. No. Like that shot would have been worth a whole lot of points like five seconds ago. It would have been worth another 64 million on top. But uh, as it is, that's all right. Okay, and then now uh, here's where my not paying attention to the dinosaur matters. The dinosaur is about was about to take down my dude, or my dude, I think is the, the correct phrasing there. Um, I've collected enough staff to light the traps, hit the right target there to get the trap going, and then when you see that the dinosaur is labeled in yellow, you have uh, the ability to capture it. And there it is. And what's my easier loop award? So there are two, at that level, there are two possible awards. One is easier in-lane awards, one is easier loop awards. The loops are the right orbit and the inner loop from the top flipper. And the uh, in-lane awards are super spinner and smart missile. I like the, uh, the in-lane awards a little better, but they're both pretty valuable. Um, one last thing to, to, to point out here is that when you do capture a dinosaur, you can continue to make rescues. There's a loop. Give me that loop award. Give me that loop award. Supplies! It's the wrong game, man. Don't. Supplies, mother. No. So that right loop there, give me a rescue. Oh, there's some nice flow in this game. Real nice flow. And these rescues will continue to be lit. If you, ca if you cash out all the rescues, you will get double the value for the, whatever that paddock was normally. And each rescue is worth an increasing amount of points. It also feeds the value of the, the wizard mode at the end of the visitor center. So paying attention to these rescues is, uh, is pretty valuable. I am at the T-Rex paddock. I also have the Raptor captor, captor available and Chaos Multiball it has been ready for quite a while. So what I'm going to try to do here is start T-Rex so we can see what it looks like. I'm probably going to lose the T-Rex because it's fast as heck, but I'm going to try playing Chaos Multiball alongside. Or I could just miss the easy ramp and just do it again. Chaos Multiball is that shot right to the to the left of that uh, that ramp. Save them. Why would I save people when I can just shoot for chaos? Chaos is fun, man. And you can see the T-Rex moves very quickly. There it is! Chaos Multiball has begun. And I'm going to try to save as many of these people as possible. I also am playing Super Spinner, which was just worth a lot. During Chaos Multiball, you have to hit enough uh, shots until the Chaos Jackpot is lit at the target that started the same Multiball. When you shoot enough jackpots, each jackpot scores. There's the super. You also get an add -a ball by getting enough bumpers. And we have activated 2x playfield scoring as well. The traps are now set for the T-Rex. So my priority shot is the yellow shots that are in the middle of the playfield. Which seems weird, I know, but I don't. I care more about that yellow shot that I just hit than anything else. You actually have to hit both yellow shots to get uh, the T-Rex cleared. And uh, the T-Rex is now in a, a dangerous position. The, why you even bother with the T-Rex is that the t if you capture the T-Rex, you get an extra ball and a bonus multiplier. So there is a lot to go on for, for this. Meanwhile, in Chaos, I have another Chaos Super Lit. And I've got three balls loaded up on the Smart Missile. Clear Paddock! Come on, clear that Paddock! Hit that! Oh! Yes!
Uh, smart missile when you got three chances is a little easier. Uh, so what just happens? Um, never mind that there's all kinds of still chaos, literally, because this is cast multi-ball going on. All right, now we can maybe trap up and do something. Nah, more chaos. Double scoring. Hit that, boom, double scoring, double super, 60, 40 million thingy my bobber. That was pretty good. Oh my. But it's probably at some point worth talking about like what the heck is going on here? But I've got too much going on at once. It's double scoring and okay, multi triple drain, triple drain. That, that's good. Now we can stop and. <laughs> All right, this is why this game rules. But um, so in Chaos Multi Ball, which you just saw, I'm describing post fix. Sorry about that. Um, you shoot enough red jackpots and then a super will light. It's um, it's a little bit similar to. Demolition Man, other games where it's like shoot one shot, light super. Now you got to do shoot two shots, light super. Now you got to shoot three shots, light the super. Um, actually, Trooper Multi Ball in uh, Iron Maiden is like that too. Uh, the 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 thing that's interesting about it in Jurassic is twofold. One is that when you hit the truck from one side to another, that's what decides where your jackpots are. They're either on the left side of the playfield or the right side of the playfield, but not both. And second. Just because the super is lit doesn't mean you have to stop. You can keep making jackpots. So the reason I got such a high value jackpot and super was that um, I spent a whole lot of time making jackpots. And then the super was worth, what was it, 46 million super? I, I, that's the highest I've ever seen for a regular super. These multi balls also have lots of phases to them. So the fact that I got 46 million there actually means that there is, there is another jackpot sitting there waiting for me to collect when I finally finish uh, getting all of the chaos jackpots. So finishing chaos again becomes a priority and you do it by shooting the letters in chaos that are all across the play field. Um, we haven't seen Raptor multi ball, so I'm going to go for that next and talk about that. But the um, the T-Rex also gave me an extra ball by capturing it. And uh, I captured it through a smart missile launched into that uh, same super jackpot target. So where we're at now, we're going to go for the we're going to go for the Raptor. And we're going to continue to try and make our way towards the end uh, of the visitor center. Remember, white shots spell map. They will lead to shooting left ramp to activate the dinosaur. And you can look at the the ones that you have available next. But I also have these perks. I have three x bonus, two 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 x on the super spinner. Beating the T Rex also gave me eight more seconds on any timers, so that I can finally finish that mode that I didn't finish earlier. Yep, missed it by that much. Okay, so this is Tyrannodon attack, and um, Tyrannodon attack is where you have to hit uh, switches or bumpers to advance a value. I'll admit I don't really know very much about how Tyrannodon attack works. Uh, one left to increase, increase the value, which is 15 times 15. That looks pretty good. I should try for that, no? So something will increase the value, and then when you shoot the right ramp, bam! You get a 28 million collect. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, there was probably something better to that I could have done there instead, but I don't know what it is. I know that in general what you want to do when you on attack is build up a big multiplier like I had, and then build up the value and cash it in. Uh, so there should have been something better there to do. Let's go for the Raptor Pit. It's over on the left. And to capture in the lockable, you have to go all the way to the back of the pit. Oh, that was bad. My fault. I should not have fired that flipper so late. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh, bad ball. And that would have been ball three on a uh, competition game. So, not bad. But uh, let's see how far, if we can get any further. We're almost to map. That in there. <laughs> get in your belly. And on the premium, it will hold that ball. 
which is pretty cool. All right, I'm out of control here. Let's get control. So um, the second phase of Raptor is to bong that ball into the targets that are behind it and then uh, damage the fence until the Raptors can be released. Um, and usually you can do this without too much danger. But, you know, why not just add danger? So, so we just got the random award, which is the supply drop. You light the supply drop through the blue targets that are around the play field. There are three of them. Two of them also serve as the set trap targets. Uh, in this case, the Raptor Pit gave the, sorry, the supply drop gave me a letter in chaos and I was able to advance there. We have a paddock ready. And so if I look back on the main play field, oh, sorry. <laughs> No, no. I can, if I take the dinosaur I have now, it will give me 15,000 per bumper in addition. Or if I switch, it will add 250,000 to my combos. I don't really care that much about this right here, so I'm just going to start. The amber value grows throughout the game, and a very high amber value can lead to all sorts of good stuff. Well, like right now, what I'm interested in is just getting this paddock done and also getting chaos letters. And not draining. That's a nice combo. Okay, and now I just shoot the, shoot the trap targets. Hitting the truck enough times when you hear that, it means a T-Rex event is ready and you shoot the left rep and T-Rex will eat your ball! All right, shoot truck to shift gears, orange to shots, dodge T-Rex attacks. Now you can ask yourself here, like, do I really want to, uh, to shoot a truck right now or do I want to shoot orange shots? There's a T-Rex chase and the orange shot. Ah, bad play, just bad play. Sorry about that. Uh, missed a shot to the right ramp and uh, paid for it. Um, it's ball three. There are some extra balls here. Um, where I am on my dinosaur is I still have to hit the yellow targets to set the traps and then uh, trap the dinosaur, which is currently at the T-Rex the shot. So if I shoot the T-Rex shot, I'll get the skill shot and it will also pause the dinosaur for a little while. Ooh, double. Look at that scoring, it's doubles. I find that that right flipper into the, into the right side trap target is where I, where I greatly prefer to go. Like that. And like I said, when you get to the more advanced dinosaurs, you have to hit both trap targets. And Well, I'm not gonna say I dislike this because, hey man, do whatever rules you want. This this is hard. <laughs> I guess it does encourage you to, uh, to 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 move the truck from one side to the other because uh, those those shots are very much easier or harder depending on where the truck is located. Uh uh. -uh. Okay, and I'm still working on the Raptor multi-ball, so maybe we should have just gone for that. Raptor integrity. Those Raptors have no integrity. Oh, come on! You give me 2% integrity? That's not enough? Would you? Why? Okay, and look, this looks important now. All right, Raptor Tri-Ball. Now, what's cool about this is there's a lot of throwback here to the original Jurassic. You have the two ramps, left ramp, right ramp, and 
You shoot those for the jackpots. Now you need to shoot the chaos letters as the second phase. Now the stuff you're doing with the dinosaurs is still happening, so it is worth thinking about, like, continuing to, like, trap the dinosaur you're on. So you don't have to use this, this multi-ball to earn points. You can earn progress and other stuff from, uh, oh, God, play better. Okay, how am I doing on cast letters? I need A and O. I still need that trap target on the left. Uh, you can also put a ball into the uh, raptor pit and uh, beat that beat that down. Well, basically, I need a separation here. And in cradle separation land, you want to look for something in the geometry of the game that allows you to make good moves. So that was a good move there. Okay, what do we got? Clear paddock, plus five rescues. Extra ball? Oh, that was always nice. That's not it, no! It was a smart miss roll, if you will. Come on, you guys still got time? Ah! Oh. And if you finish the letters in chaos, you get um, extra, mu you get extra balls in play, like the original game. It, it does what the original Jurassic Park does. Uh, so unfortunately, we did not see that, and I apologize. I'll try to do better the next time. If there is a next time. Which, this is ball three, so there probably ain't the next time. Okay. I wish I knew where the extra balls were in this game. Um, but uh, it might be one at, at a large number of tower shots on the left. I have access to the next Chaos Multi-Ball, but I have to spell Chaos twice. The first time you spell Chaos for the second Multi-Ball, it will like Control Room instead. And that's another, another Catch the Ball tip. Just try to push it up onto yourself and flip it up in the air. So C is the Chaos letter, but it will also give me the next Control Room. Um, Everything you need to go. So we can pick virus tech or restore power. Let's do restore power here. And in restore power, what you do is you shoot the spinner to build the value of the shots, and that will light the blue arrows to uh, to collect them. Uh, so. so once you shoot restore, once you shoot the spinner, you get all these blue arrows lit, and then you try not to die while you're making blue arrows. Uh oh. No oh, good. And the thing that makes this one of the things that make this hard is never mind that it's just the blue arrows. Um, I'm gonna ignore the, the last one, this is the Spinosaurus to uh, uh, to get to King of the Island multi ball because this is the last ball. So I'm gonna deliberately move the paddock. Uh, to the opposite side here. We'll try to. And you can see now I'm going along the side wall instead. I could actually already be at Visitor Center if I didn't go to the Spitter or to the T-Rex. The Pteranodon! He can fly, he can fly, he can fly! And this will also give me two X jackpots during Chaos Multi-Ball. If I can get uh, this guy captured. But my priority is shooting the letters in Chaos. Because if I can spell Chaos right now, I will get uh, Chaos Multi-Ball. And I wish that, that I could make that side ramp with a little more accuracy. Oh dear. Ooh! Oh, that was close. 
Okay, so cast multi balls ready. And I'm gonna do something that's kind of mean and silly here, which is not mean and silly, but I'm going for the, the control room again. Rescue unsuccessful. Oh, that's that's so sad. That random guy is so sad. Hi, Keith. All right, virus attack. How's that pipe? Okay, so now I've got this going. This is more of a frenzy of every shot. And I also have Chaos Multi Ball ready. Oh, you call! I could have sworn I hit that. Nah, that's fine. That happens a lot. <laughs> that's a, just a bad shot. That's a worse shot. Okay, and now the shot to Chaos is harder. And I'm missing it. And the dinosaur is killing people. And there it is. That's a very important shot because I will be able to get through uh, to the end of this mode. And I should be able to get through to get a couple more chaos jackpots. I need more supers. You see that I moved the truck and the supers changed from right to from uh, left to right. Now the jackpot is lit. The chaos jackpot is lit. Oh boy. Let's make the chaos. Put this to use right away. What is it? Amber ramps. I think she was on Survivor once. And I can't hit the jackpot. So, you know, yelling at me doesn't really help. Oh. It... I told you, yelling at me is not helping. That's a jackpot. Okay, so separation when you've got this much going on at once. Um, there's not really much to do but to bop, you're trying to bop this ball up and out and hope it goes to the other side. Sometimes you fail. Oh man. There it is. There's a super. And that's uh which which letter was that? That's the fifth letter. Okay, so now we're in the second phase. Now each letter is worth Whatever it says on the display, which I can't see right now. Let's get control. All right, there, fine. Boy. So, this is actually pretty rare. The O is worth more than the others. Um, so, you get whatever the jackpot was that you collected. Now that letter is worth that amount. Um, so, I'm going to make the H and cash that in. But there's a little uh, other tricky thing going, which is the 2x scoring is right over there, and it's ready. So I can go for the 2x scoring as well, or I can just cash in. Yeah, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? Doingy. Nice and slow. When you were look, when you're trying to catch a ball like that, just play it slow. Keep it slow. You don't have to do anything. Just try to get control. The goal in a multi-ball is to take something and then get get back to it. Actually, Jurassic does a really good job of trying to force you out of that by using timers and using the dinosaur that's that's killing your dudes uh, all over the place. So now A and O are, are lit. They're ready. I'm going to try an up and up and down, which is to pop up the ball and then shoot a shot with the other ball. And I didn't make my shot, but I did. Okay, and we got just the one letter to go. So again, like rather than do something crazy here, ah, oh. oh, and I missed my last chance saloon. All right, what do we got? Fossil collected. So. Um, 
That would have been nice. Uh, if you finish Chaos, you get a, you get another chance at one more jackpot. That's the total of all those jackpots. So it combines again uh, into something even bigger, and then you go back around. That 2x scoring would have been really nice to have. But um, I also have a control room, secure control room ready, uh, having played all three control room rounds. Normally, if I was shooting from the left to the right, I would shoot the right ramp. I'm going to post transfer here to try to get a trapped ball for this last shot. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, that was good. That 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 was quality professional play. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. That's the ticket. Secure cuz oh no, this guy. I, I I hope there's only one. Okay, shoot blue shot to collect value. Okay, blue shot. Blue shot. No. Oh, boy. There it is. And then, one thing that's cool about this uh, this round is, uh, and it's not obvious to players, that you can actually go and remake the shots from earlier. They're lit in green. Green doesn't mean I've already made you. Green means, like, hey, you can still shoot me. So I do need to make that, that blue shot, but I can also make the green shot to, I mean, I can't, but you'd think I would be able to, given the... The game. Like, I know I've been able to make that. Oh my god. There you go. Value increased. Five seconds added. Hi, ya mother. Well, that was good. Okay, so now I'm gonna make some of these green shots to blow up the timer a little bit more and extend how long I have to shoot the other thing. Value increase, five seconds added. Now I've, I've made all of the green shots. Notice that, that value is uh, probably three million, maybe. Door four, that's my favorite door. And so you don't have to make all these other shots. You can go back through and make whatever shots you want that feed nothing or feed everything. It's very clever. I really like the rules here. In fact, I like the rules in this game all over the place. But uh, this last this shot is very difficult, and I often find that I die here uh, trying, even though I have plenty of time and plenty of opportunity. That side flipper shot is just hard. Considering I, I should have died earlier. There it is. Door five, door five. My favorite door. Door six. It's my favorite door. Oh! Music's pretty good here, too. It's like... Hey, high tension time. Door, s door seven is a target? I mean, that really doesn't work, door. Oh, God. What was that? Okay, and then, like I said, at the start of the mode, you want a ball trapped here so you can take that shot much more easily. I'm completing uh, tartar tasks in the game to give you these fossils. And the fossils, like the three fossils on the right are all for these three wizard modes. Um, and yeah, stay out. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You stay there. And then um, we've lit up secure control room because, because we're boss. Um, We've also, uh, the, the last dinosaur got away, it, it, it escaped. So if you just want to get to the end of the visitor center, one of the things you can choose to do is to just uh, fart around for a while and do nothing and, and let the balls drain. Not drain, but you know, eventually the dinosaur will just say bye and peace out. Um, so right now, uh, if I spell map, I will get to um, the visitor center. 
Um, I also have uh, this, the control room is lit over there again. I'm not really sure why. So we should do that first. Let's see, post transfer. Oi. I think I might be on two warnings. I don't know, I don't know on at least one warning. What do we got? What's the fourth one of these? It's question mark. What? Why would Nedry do this? Double scoring. This is just what I need. Double scoring. Uh, double score. Invalid double scoring. Uh uh uh. 5.9 million access violations and an addable. You know how it is. Uh uh uh. uh. So this is switch frenzy. So where you really want to go with your shots is uh, the spinner into the bumpers. balls so many balls so many balls <laughs> that was not the most efficient play scoring wise at all but come on man if it's lit I'm taking it I need two more letters to spell map so the helipad is a letter the left ramp is a letter and now I gotta flop this over um, and map is lit so I shoot the left ramp and that gives me the visitor center. The visitor center. I did! I arrived! Didn't I just arrive here? Alright so you get a bunch of points for your fossils. Rescues. Ideally you wanted to add as many of these rescues as possible because you're building a base here. Longest rescue streak. This is not as good as I would want it to be. The rescue streak is what really pads you out here. Uh, and then you get times whatever for the number of times you actually got to one of these dinosaurs and uh, captured it. Visitor still down. Oh, and there's a multi-ball! <laughs> or I forget, is it a multi-ball? I, I don't think it is actually, sorry. Oh, there's two of them! Wasn't there only really one? Jeez, what is going on in this movie? Oh, it is a multi-ball, sorry. I don't, I, you can see I don't get to do this very often. Okay, so this multi-ball works uh, a lot like uh, Rhyme of the uh, Ancient Mariner in, uh, in um, Iron Maiden, in that the shots are lit, they're all the way on the right, the raptor, the raptor pit is all the way on the left. So you have to basically move these shots by making them until they feed the right. So every time you make a shot, you see the shots move to the right. You move to the right rather slowly, in that you have to make them. And if you don't make a shot quickly enough, they'll move back to the left. When it gets to include the uh, side ramp, it's, it's the side ramp shots, it starts to get a little annoying. This spot, right, in particular right here, is the hardest spot, but you use the right ramp to set up your shot. And pay attention. It's very easy in a game where the game is asking you to make side flipper shots to just stop paying attention and, uh, and not do it. And if you miss, it'll go back to the previous level. And you'll get a little more points for sending the ball through that level, but... There we go. It is not over. Oh! Oh, it's not over. We're down to one ball, but no, it's still going. Uh, you can still make your shots. In fact, there's some shots are probably easier to make when it's in this state than otherwise, like those side flipper shots. 
Oh, and that's all. Uh, so we're not going to get to see Museum Mayhem, uh, which we'd have to play all the T-Rex modes to get to. We're not going to see um, uh, Escape Nublar, which is what you get for getting all three. And we're not going to see When Dinosaurs Rule the Earth, which is what you get to split for winning all three. But my god, um, it's a great game all throughout. And uh, as always, I'm so grateful here to uh, everyone who supports Patreon. Uh, thanks to Rich and Abby for having us tonight. Uh, thanks to Atticus and Jeff Palmer for uh, being our lead supporters on patreon.com slash pinball. And uh, thanks to Mark Pattenout for all the work he does to uh, put these videos together. Thank you so much for watching. Chaos. System boot. Store power. <laughs> Give me that Invalid Frenzy bonus. So, oh. Visitor Center bonus. Finish.